after we uh, plot our GFI, we export it as a PDF. I put it in download location and I save it. Now here we got a, and here we export a P network PDF file. Then we open it by Adobe Illustrator. Now here is, but we don't have a legend here. We can uh, create a legend according to the file and color. Now first, we got a file like this. Uh, we have the second column and we have the column column. So the first thing we need to do is just copy these two column to here and uh, we use the data. Then we remove the duplicate. Then we, then we only got 31. Now we have this and uh, we now use this value and the list to create a legend. Now we create a new. Now we have this one, and we use this circle tool. Then we made a small circle, and we use this one. Then we can make a copy of this. Make it this a little bigger. This is too huge. We gave it a 20.5, 20.5. Then we make it a little bit larger. Shift both. Control C. We control V. We made several copy of it. We drag here. Drag here. Also drag here. Also drag here. Then we can make we can select also drag here. Then we select this together. We make it horizontally, then vertically distribute it. Now we can get the multiple of this. Then we can uh, set the color according to this one. Then we use the copy this and go to here. Then we Click the white and the paste here. Then we sure. Then the next. Copy this color. Then we go to this one. Double click this one and uh, paste here. Now we have this. Then you can also. Then you copy this part. Then Command G, Command C, Command V, and slowly we make the, all of this. Then change all the colors. Then we have the legend. But this is a, if if you don't have so much point, you can do something like this. But uh, this really takes times. Here I suggest we use a use R code. So we first. We read in the preset colors. Now you can see here. Now we only choose this color and this column and this column together. Then we made we ask it to make a level, and we just uh, read in. Then we make a distinct. We have we select the P and the color, and we make a distinct. Then we also set a value for it. We we want to then we set the color for. We set a micro color for this. Now we can have a corresponding name and its color. Now we can plot a bar plot. We use use the data the DF two. Then x is the p and the y is the value and the fill is according to the p. Then we scale fill menu by color. So we can directly copy this. We can save this legend. Now we can save this legend. Then we can right click it and open with Adobe Illustrator. Then here we got the this uh, legend. We can only copy. We only copy. We can remove this one. We can uh, extract out here. Now we can comp We can just uh, uh, we remove this P. Or we can use this select. Then we uh, go to this search and we remove this one. 
and we only only extract he, this part. Mom C create a new uh, layer for this. Then we just copy this one. We shift O, then here. These are our legend, so we can make made it like this, and we can delete this. Then this is how to make legend for this, and we can also make a line for the positive and the negative. So we can draw a line like here, and we make it like this, and we can extract its color. This is red color, and we can give it a uh, give it a one. Then this is uh, the positive, and we also can uh, copy this. Then Control C, Control V. Then we can make it a negative. Then here we can ex uh, use this color. We extract. We we first select this, and we extract color from this one. And uh, here we also change it to one. Then we just type positive. And we copy it, we paste it, give it a negative correlation. Now we have this. 